guys, start here from Billion Dollar iTech. Today we are back with another amazing video. This time we will show you how to make an email campaign via MailChimp.com. MailChimp.com is a very good platform for email blasting and online campaigns. This is a free website up to certain limit. If you cross the limit, there is a fee to be paid based on the usage. Signing up is for free. You may fill up the columns with the necessary information required. Since I already have an login information, I will directly log in. Welcome guys to MailChimp main login page. So MailChimp offers basically five main functions. Campaigns, templates, lists, reports, automation. So now I'm going to explain to you one by one what are the functions of each of them. First, let's go to the campaigns. I want you guys to have a look at my latest campaign that I have done. The campaign name is basically Pursuit of Knowledge from Colombia to Malaysia. Let's have a look at the email. We will see how the email looks alike actually. Since the resolution of the images are very high quality, the loading time will be a bit longer. When people will have a look at the email, they might press read more if they are interested, which will be redirected to the website, to the actual article that we have uploaded. This is a very good way to get the traffic to your website or to your YouTube. So here uh, we can have a look at basically the subscribers, opens and clicks. If you guys are interested to know more about the reports of your emails, we can view more detailed reports by viewing the report actually. If you click on the view report, it will take you to a page which will show you each and every single detail of your email. So like you can see that how many open rates do we have? 7.6 and click rate is only 0.1%. And out of that, it means 144 people have opened. When we go to the activity page, we can see that we have a email list which gives a brief explanation about who are the people, what time, and which day they have opened the email. Let's go back to the overview. In the overview, we can see that 144 of them have actually opened, and two of them clicked, and 63 of them are bounced, and 13 of them have unsubscribed. And then, you can see that overall success rate is 96% and the latest view was on 7 8 17 which uh, at 12 47 a.m. in the morning let's go down we can see the 24 hour performance which is the most detailed email which shows what what time how many people have opened and what time how many of them click so it can show actually the importance of the timing as well so these are the links top links that I have given and top subscribers who have opened my emails the most so mm, we can see that the second person have opened 10 times maybe he was very interested in the email and these are the top locations USA Malaysia and Russia actually I'm very surprised that my subscribers are from USA and Malaysia so this is the basic overview of your previous campaign before you set up any campaign you need to have a list this is very important these are the people who are going to receive your emails and I have here two recipient options first of them is just for myself testing purpose and the second list I have created for my customers I have gotten their information from my website when they have subscribed to my website now I want to create a regular campaign I want to create a regular campaign for my previous video. Actually, this is the most watched video on my YouTube channel, which is how to create a creative resume using Microsoft Word without a Photoshop. So it got over 6,000 views. So I want people to see my video, to receive it in the email so they can redirect to the YouTube channel to get more views. The first step is to create a campaign. So for the campaign name, I took the same video title and retitled it here to send to my recipients. The reason I have done it because I, I don't want to get lost in what are the emails that I have sent and it will be very clear that this particular email 
was sent to advertise particular video that I have uploaded. So we begin the campaign. So once we begin the campaign, we will be taken to the next five steps that we have to follow. First, we need to select our recipients. So the people who have subscribed to my list. I'm going to select block KL, the entire list. And I will click next, which will take me to the setup page. So in the setup page, you can write the email subject, same as the campaign name as well. And then you have to fill the information by yourself. The most important here is the from name. So you can write the any name that the people will see once they receive the email from who and what is the title. As well as you have to set up an email which will direct them to reply directly to that email or you can write your email later on in the campaign that I will explain to you guys. The next step is to select the template. The good thing about the MailChimp, they have given many options of the templates. So you can choose like your design templates or you can set up your own templates. You can see that the, these are the given templates that they have given in the teams. And they have the save templates, the campaigns, the one that I have done previously. As well as you can code your own template, which I'm not going to do it because I'm going to select the team that I like. Since I'm going to send a video campaign, I'm going to select something related to the image. You may select anything. They have a newsletter, they have a event, uh, they have a even subscribers. You can even um, make your products to sell through email marketing, which is the best way. So I like one template, which is located in very bottom line. This template is called basically mosaic. I'm going to select the same template. So we go to the next step, which we are going to design our campaign. This is a very interesting part because MailChimp itself provides you very good uh, information on the content. Like they have a text, even box text, a divider, they have image, they have image group, image card, image with caption, social share, social follow, button, footer, code, as well as video. So the first step is to edit the header. So here they have two columns. You need to fill both of them. Otherwise they are going to definitely not allow you to send your campaign. If you have any problem in your either recipients or setup or design or template, anything will, if not in order, they will not allow you to send your campaign. So I'm going to write, are you interested so I will be typing like, are you interested to make a creative resume? So this is actually just a brief about the email. Uh, resume by Microsoft Word, I will type. Now the following step will be the column two, which I'm going to remove this all line and I'm going to just write a YouTube and I'm going to link my video in the YouTube Word itself. So what I'm going to do is link the video. You have to go and get the URL of your video itself. Just copy it and paste it in the campaign itself. Just link to your website or to the YouTube. And I'm just going to save and close. Uh, then the next step is uh, here you can put a logo, but I'm not interested to put any logo. So I'm going to remove the whole line itself. The next step is to write the big title, which will attract people to have a look at your email. So I'm going to write a creative resume without Photoshop. And July 2011, so this year is 2017, I'm going to replace it. And then I'm going to give a brief explanation. I could go to my website or YouTube, get the description and copy paste. Or I could write my own description based on my own choice. So I'll be typing here the description about my video. The next step is I'm going to delete the entire row and I'm going to replace it with the video itself. So I'm going to get a drag and drop the video icon and drop it in the content itself. So I'm going to get the URL of my this video and link it to the email campaign itself. I could browse and put my own video from my laptop 
or I could go and get the link itself which is much easier if you have it already uploaded in uh, YouTube or in your website once I have linked my video to the email I'm going to give a brief explanation about the video itself so people will be able to follow me and watch my video online via their email don't forget each time you're going to close the content you need to save and close even I'm going to add a social follow which people will be able to follow me on social media like Facebook website YouTube uh, even so in Instagram so the main thing is here is to edit the settings so I'm going to make it icon I will make it in the center point as well as I will make it full width and the most important is the layout because that's what will make the uh, social photo more attractive so you can choose like a uh, more uh, icons you want you can choose like how the icons will look alike you want it solid you want the colorful or black and white or the style and then in the content that's a very important part because I'm going to go to my Facebook and get the link of my page once I got the link I just copy it and paste it here and save and close since I don't have a Twitter I'm going to put just my website address and I'm going to add another service which will be linked to YouTube so I'm going to find a YouTube name here and I press and I will just copy paste my same link and paste it there so it's a very simple and easy way whenever people will press on those icons they will directly go to the website that you have put there and then uh, it's your choice because I'm going to change some of the things because um, I think my uh, thumbnail is based on orange and red color I'm not going to put a blue color as the main thumbnail uh, color so I'm going to change the colors here here and there so it's based on the choice of you guys after I have edited as according to my will I'm going to add another button which will be subscribe anyone who is interested to view my channel they can directly put since you guys know that we have a YouTube channel you can I want the people to be directed to my channel directly to subscribe another advantage of MailChimp.com you may add another button which will direct the subscribers the people who receive the email directly to your website or to the link you wish so I'm going to add a subscribe button and I'm going to adjust the colors same as the YouTube this is a complete email that we are going to send so the next step is to confirm your email itself so they will give an option if there is any problem they will stop you to sending the email so this is a very critical moment so I'm going to send now I press send now and the campaign is sent to all the recipients that are in my list congratulations guys we have done the email sending this is our second campaign successfully launched now let's go to the account and have a look at how the my account looks alike so in my account I have 1876 subscribers the maximum I could have is 2000 and sending could be only 12,000 until the certain period of time so guys you can see at the end of the video this is how your campaign will look like to the recipients first we will show you how the YouTube if you want to promote your channel via MailChimp this is how the recipients will see the email they will see all the information that was given in the email itself the second one is the campaign that I have sent about my latest blog this is how the email will look like when people click on the email so if they press read more they will be directed to my website MailChimp is a very useful website to keep updated your customers subscribers and followers on a regular basis thanks for being with me guys I hope this video was very informative and I hope this video will help you to engage with your subscribers please like and comment on our video if you find it informative please share with your friends for the Urdu version of this video please click on the button given on the side of the video and until then peace